Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWalk.com and welcome to our review of the LG Optimus G. This is available on the AT&T network. As you can see here with the AT&T logo. Now, the Optimus G is the first quad-core Snapdragon smartphone in the US. Uh, this also has an eight megapixel camera in the rear. Now, of course, you've seen our hands-on with the international version, uh, which had a 13 megapixel camera. This actually has an eight megapixel camera LED flash. You've got this glossy back cover. You cannot open it up, so you can't change the battery because you can see it's fastened down. You do have your micro USB port at the bottom, power button on the right-hand side, and left, your volume toggle. Of course, here, you do have your SIM card, as well micro sim as well as your sd card 16 gigabytes sd card storage this is about 10 inbuilt so another 16 in on the device so actually combined 32. now this is a 4.7 inch hd ips display 720p um, a very slick device uh, if you remember the prada phone this is designed by the same team and you can see the design elements there very slick very simple but very straightforward device. You've got a front-facing camera, it's a HD front-facing camera. So we power this on. Um, there are a couple of things to note about the Optimus Optimus G here. So let's uh, let's actually zoom in here and give you guys a better look. So first off, uh, you can see you have access, of course, to your notification bar, and you can see it's quite different there. We'll get to that in a second. And you also have uh, quick access to your call, messaging, browser, and camera. And then you have some cool unlock features which you can change on the device, which I'll show you here. And look, this is one right here. As you can see, it, it's almost like an ink spread. It's opening it up. You can see my wallpaper there. And boom, there you have it. Now, just looking at the display itself, it's very sharp, very crisp, very clear. You can see how smooth this is. Now, this is running Android 4.0. I expected it to be 4.1, but LG said there will be an update for it. What you notice is that, the, first of all, it, this has this custom uh, uh, UI overlay. The LG UI, Optimus UI, whatever name they want to call it, they have a custom UI. What that means, for instance, in the, you can see here, the first thing is that your um, your uh, your app tray button's in the middle. You can have five, up to five icons here at the bottom. I can take one out and move that there. You can see, or I can bring that back and bring it back there. You also you have your touch sensitive buttons for your back home and menu flipped around with the LG devices. And then you have something called Quick Memo. Quick Memo is easily accessible through your notification bar. And these are your quick uh, settings icons here. You have icons for Quick Memo, Vibrate, Wi-Fi, NFC. So you can quickly turn that on and off, and you can edit the memo, uh, the quick uh, settings here for whichever devices and whichever locations you want to actually put them in. So the whole idea of quick memo is this, is that you get a phone call or you're talking to someone and you want to write something down and you don't have a pen. You just pull it down, go to quick memo, boom, and you can write on your screen. So I can write here, board, I can write whatever I want to, I can erase all that stuff off. And I'm just writing with my fingers. So I can quickly just jot down a number seven. You know, I can go back here again, seven, eight, two, four, five, six, and I can save it. Or if I don't want to, hit the home button, goes away. That's a quick memo. Very simple and very easy. The other thing to take note here is also a couple of settings between your home screen lock screens and all the settings. So you do have settings for your home screen and lock screen. And what that allows you to do is you can um, change your wallpaper style, the effects, things like that. You can go in depth into those kinds of settings here. So you can actually see that uh, in you know thorough form. So we head back here. Your, all your settings. Now the settings layout is very different here uh, from LG. In the typical Android 4.0 layout, it's all a uh, scroll down menu. This is actually in tabs. So you have your networks here where you can go, of course, and change your uh, set up a hotspot if you want to. You have your sound settings, you have your display settings here and of course you have your general settings here for power save gesture controls and about uh, device where you can go about phone and if you go into software information you can see this is run Android 4.0 so the overlay has added a few features that are very different to what you would expect from your typical Android experience but still it's something you can easily get used to and understand um, in terms of your app tray here, um, a couple apps that are, uh, are built into the device. You do have your, your own specific music app. They have the LG tag, so you can actually make NFC tags uh, with uh, your phone since it's an NFC capable device. 
um, and then you also have the AT&T version apps. You have your smart share features to share files with Wi-Fi Direct as well as to share over a network. Uh, now, it's one pretty cool feature which I would like to show you here. It's actually one of the video features here. So if you go into the gallery and we look for a video, here we have. So we have a video playing. We have an option of we can make it best fit for the video, full screen. If we start the video again, we can actually do this. We can now actually take the video out and we can change the transparency of the video and we can actually do work while watching the video. So I can, you know, uh, check, go online, go to the browser, things like that. So um, it's an interesting, uh, fun feature. Um, also works in landscape mode, it actually takes a larger screen real estate um, on there. So I can actually dim that down completely, go to where, where I was browsing and so on and so forth. So it's a nice feature to have. Um, I don't know how super practical or how someone would take it, but it's a cool feature that's added there uh, by LG. I think that goes a long way to give you a different user experience overall. Now, in terms of uh, speed, uh, the Snapdragon processor is pretty fast. We've got two gigs of RAM on this, so it's a very fast processor thing. Works very well, very snappy. I've noticed zero slowdowns on the device. Again, this is a 4G LTE device. Now, speeds are dependent on your area. Um, actually recording this in New York, so it'll be different from what I probably get in Massachusetts. And we can crank this up. See, I'm getting about 24 uh, download speeds, and then upload speeds is about uh, 14 or so. So you still get some very good speeds, and you know it's 4G LT on the AT&T network. Um, you've also got a very very solid camera. Now the camera controls, you can see the camera settings here. Of course, you can switch back and forth between camera and video you can actually hit record and also take photos while you're recording so I'm taking photos of my finger there um, switch back again you've got 1080p recording so we'll add we'll add photos from this uh, from this camera as well as uh, some recording. 1080p with the LG Optimus G just giving you a quick 1080p recording so you guys see of course we got cars rolling by there giving you a sense um, this is outdoors of course see a bunch of cars there um, give you a nice view. Do about 30 seconds here. We'll, we'll probably change locations again one more time. The UPS truck. This is the New England foliage. People talk about leaves dying, that kind of thing. Um, and then uh, let's try out some uh, other location. What are my thoughts about the Optimus G? Um, the Optimus G is a solid device from LG. I think LG's done a very good job. Uh, some people might might be a little constrained or feel a little. Um, distracted from the UI changes because it's a very heavily customized UI. But um, if you take some time to just play around with it, you find that it's actually pretty easy to use. Uh, and there's some, I've heard some complaints, but I think it's still pretty easy to use anyway. Uh, the cool features with the quick note, I like that. Um, even though you don't need a stylus, but it's just so that if you really want to put those, take down notes or shopping or, you know, anything you want to quickly write down, you could actually use Quick Notes for, which is cool. The, the video feature is also nice to have. It's just something different on the device. Uh, battery life has been great. Uh, I've got enjoyed a very solid battery life, probably about 16 hours or so. Um, you've got a big battery in there, I believe about 2,500 milliamps. I could be wrong, probably 21, but you've got good battery life on here and the um, device overall is very solid. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, two O's. So this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.